Hey foodie family, how's everybody doing today? I am going to be making Tex-Mex enchiladas. So I'm going to be on real quick. It doesn't take that long. So I'm going to start heating up everything so I can get started. Let me flip you all around. Okay, here we go. Making sure the lighting's right. Okay, so let me turn this heat up. I'm going to be making fideo, but the first thing I'm going to do, you know what, let me do the tortillas real quick, because I want them to cool off, and that way it's easier for me to handle. I didn't have a lot of corn tortillas, so I got some of the well, mini tortillas for the street tacos and the regular tortillas. So this is what I'm going to use for my Tex-Mex enchiladas. And I'm just going to soften up the tortilla. I'm going to use this for my fideo. So the same oil, the same can I'm going to use for the oil I'm going to use for the tortilla. And I'm going to use the leftover oil for the fideo. How's everybody doing today? Okay. Get this started over right here. Trying to open my tomato sauce real quick. And get me a little bit of water here because I'm going to need it for the fideo. Okay, got that. Waiting for this to get a little hot. Still needs to get hot. So if you're just joining in, I am making Tex-Mex enchiladas. I did add the link to uh, the life right now that I have on. So at the end when I um, put it to share, it'll show you the link to the enchiladas, the Tex-Mex enchiladas, and y'all can go look at the recipe there. But I'll also upload this video to YouTube so that way y'all can um, see it there as well. Might have another video up there of uh, enchiladas. Yes, yeah, about a little bit ago. I'm cutting onions that I'm going to be adding to the um, ground beef that I'm going to be using for the enchiladas. Gotta have some onion. And I'm only gonna soften the tortillas up just a little bit. I don't need them crispy or nothing, just... Ow! I just jumped all the way over here. Probably had a little bit of water from me washing it. Okay. Well, that scared me. <laughs> Let me get this tortillas going. I said I only want to soften them up. This morning, because um, my husband's going to be going to work here soon, so I made uh, breakfast tacos for him. But it was uh, frozen chicken strips of uh, chicken fajita. And all I do is uh, spice it up, add some onion and bell pepper, and that's what I'm going to pack them for him to take for work and to eat breakfast here at home. So I have that already packed for him. But since he's there till tonight, he needs another lunch. So I'm making some Tex-Mex enchiladas. I'm gonna lower this a little bit, doesn't need to be so hot. Okay. And actually this process really doesn't take that long. It takes longer for me to put everything together than it is the cooking of it. Okay. And I'm just spreading them out on the plate so they can cool off a little bit faster and I don't burn myself when I'm rolling them up. Okay, I'm trying to keep them from tearing. So I'm not going to make too many enchiladas, but let's see how much I get out of these right here. Mm. 
Okay. What are y'all making for lunch, for dinner, guys? This is actually dinner for us. But I make it. I was actually going to make them a lot earlier. But I was busy doing other things, so I didn't uh, do it. So I'll wait until now because I have to do it right now before he goes to work. Make sure he has some food for work. And he already ate. He's outside doing the... Ow! Yeah, I'm burning myself a lot today. He's working in the yard somewhere. In the yard doing something. Not sure if he's doing something for me for my garden or if he's working on the fence or something. Either way, he's outside working hard as always. Okay, so this is already going to be done. I only have one more tortilla. And then I'm going to dump out some of this oil because it's too much oil for the fideo. I don't want it to burn, so let's see here. Oops. All right, now that I don't have tortillas, I'll take any little tortilla even if it's torn up like this one. Okay, let me take out some of this oil because it's a little too much oil for the video. Actually, just dump it all. I'll add more to it. Just trying to get some of that tortilla little crunchies out. Okay, so where's my video? Now I'm going to add just a tiny bit back. That way the tortilla stuff at the bottom settles. Let me clean that up a bit. Hi, Gina. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so let me get started on this video. The pan is screaming hot right now. And I don't want to put too much video in this little pan because it's too small. Should have gotten a bigger one, but I'm not going to be cooking so much video. I'll move this out of the way, put it over here to start cooling. And since it's so hot, the video starts toasting right away. Okay. Well, it would help if I turn off the heat, huh? Wouldn't it? I'm just picking up whatever fell out. I actually like cooking in a bigger pot for fideo because I like the juice from it. Changing it up, guys, on y'all. I'm going to put it in a bigger pot. I just don't like working in a small pot. I just didn't want to dirty any more dishes. I was being lazy, but I cannot work in a small little pot like pan like this for the fideo. So I'm just going to add the rest of the fideo because I love fideo. I can eat it breakfast, lunch, or dinner anytime. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah, just a bit of oil, more, because I'm going to add the rest of the fideo. Okay. Yeah, I could get the rest of the bag. Oh, I love butterflies. Super cute on the screen. My favorite things are butterflies. I don't like how they start off, but I do like the end result of butterflies. I'm trying to see if I can get y'all a little bit closer without dropping y'all. Now that I have a higher pan. Well, I'm going to search it up anyway here in a minute. 
So let me get things going over here so I can get the thing to drain out the meat. I'm gonna drain the meat in that. So I bought this, guys. I'm gonna come on live. Maybe later on today. I forgot the name of it. But I will give y'all the name. I just this is a purple flower. I will but when I come live next time, I'll be making this and the drink comes out like a dark, dark, deep purple, bluish mixed together, super dark. And of course it's gonna have a little floral taste or whatever. But when you add acid to this, kind of like lemon. So I'm gonna be making some lemonade and mixing it with this, it turns into a real pretty pinkish color so you can drink it hot or cold you can bake with it you can make it in your rice of course i'm going to be making it in the rice just trying to decide what dishes to cook with it i'm thinking about chicken so and i'll be showing you all of that um so i ordered it on amazon that was the only way i could get them i didn't find any for here locally where they had it so i was waiting for it i finally got it yesterday so i'm excited to use it and it's supposed to help with a lot of things. I put the benefits of it that it support, claims it has. That it helps with. You know like the growth of your hair. With wrinkles and eyesight and so forth. And other stuff that it's supposed to help with. So I'm looking forward to actually using it. Consuming it. Yeah so. It also gives ways of making a facial to it, but I really don't like the stuff it uses. So I'm like, nah, I'm good on that part. But, okay, so I have it real toasty. I like my Fideo extra toasty because it gives it a different flavor. Okay. Let's see if y'all can tell right there how toasty it is. I'm going to make sure that I toast it real good. And then add the spices. Okay. And I hate it because sometimes it just, no matter how much I toast it, it still comes out a little white looking, kind of like a spaghetti, and I don't like that. Okay, trying to get it all off the little wall here from the pot. Make sure it all gets water. Oh yeah, it's getting darker. See the difference? Okay, so time for me to add the water. You're gonna hear a lot of sizzling. Okay, get all that video down. And I'm going to add just a little bit more juice because, like I said, I like my fideo juicy. Okay, so I'm going to add a whole can of tomato sauce, which I think, believe this is four ounces. Actually, this one's eight ounces. But depending on how you like it rinse the inside and I wash all my cans before I put them in this in the uh, cabinet to store them so that's why I go ahead and put water in it I know they've been washed already so I don't worry about it okay no it's not hibiscus uh Gina it's I will get the name to it give me a minute I will and it's not on here this one just says anti-aging wrinkles and stuff like that A little bit of pomino. A little bit of... Oh, you know what? That was apple, which is garlic. This is the comino, the cumin. And then we're going to have a little bit of the norpollo. And again, I don't add salt because this has salt already in it. So it has plenty of flavor. Let me get a spoon so I can taste it.
It is a small purple flower that kind of grows on a vine, Miss Gina. But I will definitely write down what it is and everything. When I go live, I'll have the correct name of it and all. I just got it. It's new to me. So I came across it on YouTube and I liked it because of the changing colors and stuff. So I really didn't get it because it was good for me. I got it because of <laughs> what it does. That's so bad, but that's the only reason I... I have it because I love the way it was changing colors and that I can cook with it. Okay, so let me give this a taste real quick. See if I need to add any more spices. Tastes good, but I need a little bit more of this not a pollo. Actually, it tastes really good. Give it a good mix. Okay, so I'm going to switch it around. And I'm going to put it to cook on that other side because I'm going to bring the ground meat this way. Okay, so let me switch it up here. And uh, where is mine? There it is. I hope it defrosts it all the way through. A little frozen in the center, that's okay. Oh, that side's hot, so I'm gonna switch it around. So, once I cook it, I'm gonna drain out the fat to it and then I'm gonna add some onion. And while this is cooking, real quick, I'm gonna bring out the cheese. It's hot over here, Miss Gina. It's been getting as high as 111. My plants are taking a beating, but I've been working with them. They've been surviving. It's just so hot. It's really hot, but it's good. I mean, it could be worse. Can't complain. Okay. I want to cook this off to get all the pink out. There you go. Got that fideo going over there. Excuse me for a minute. We can grab something to drink, right? Just grabbing me some tea. Hi, Janie. Thank you for joining me. If you're all just joining me in right now, guys, tuning in, I am making a Tex-Mex enchiladas. So I already got the fideo going over there. I'm cooking the meat right now for the meat sauce. Like I said, it's going to be Tex-Mex, so it's not going to be me making the whole sauce from scratch or nothing like that. It's going to be a Tex-Mex. So I'm going to have a little help. I already softened up the tortillas. Uh, sorry guys, trying to get something to drink over here. I'll be right with y'all. Okay, that's what they were screaming over there. It should be done here in a few minutes. Okay, so I know it's a little pink. That's fine. 
I'm bringing this over just so I can drain it. Get all this fat out. And get a paper towel real quick so I can finish. Okay, move this back. down trying to get all the fat out as much as possible. Okay. Sorry. And then to that, I'm going to add some onion. left it a little pink just so I have enough time to cook the onion with it. And then mix it down real quick. And I'm going to use a different spoon here. See my fideos ready. It looks ready. Okay, my fideo's ready. Yummy. So I'm going to take it off the heat. Look at this, guys. See if you can see it there. Look at that. I love fideo. I don't need nothing else but fideo. But it doesn't hurt having so much love. But for me, my enchiladas are going to wait for dinner. I'll serve some just to taste it. But I, I really want to just eat um, that's a bowl of fideo. Better as small as I want. Excuse me, darling. I have a message for you. Sorry about that, guys. I was getting a text. Okay. This. Give it a good mix. So I'm going to lower the heat just a bit. I always like cooking on hard because I want to get out of the kitchen real fast because it gets hot. Excuse me, darling. I have a message for you. Sorry about that, guys. I know I'll keep hearing my text messages come in. So I'm just going to spice this up just a little bit. You really don't have to, but I like to. A little bit of comino. A little bit of apple and a little bit of the notapoyo. I'm going to mix that up real quick. Sometimes I'll add some red chili, but not today. I'm not going to today. I didn't have it out here with me. I'm not going to go digging for it. Okay, so just for a second, I'm going to turn it off. I get all this going. This is what makes it to me Tex-Mex because I am using canned chili and it's the chili with the beans. You use your favorite chili. I'm using the store brand from my store. That's what we'd like. Okay. Just going to add a little bit of water so I can keep it from continuing cooking there. And this is the fastest enchiladas, and they taste really, really good. So I tend to stick to these a lot more than the homemade ones. I prefer these. Okay, I'm going to get just a little bit more water. mix. I'm going to turn the heat back on. 
and I'll just let it cook for a little bit. And then I'm not even going to stick them in the oven. It's too hot for that. So I'm going to stick them in the microwave. So I'm going to make individual plates. And I'll be sticking them in the microwave for y'all. So y'all can see how I make them. Super fast. No extra dirty dishes. I'm actually going to use just a... Uh, to serve everybody else, I'll probably use just paper plates. For serving purposes here, I'm going to put it on a plate, guys. <laughs> And I'm just going to add a little bit more because I do want it to have a little bit of juice. Give it a good mix. There we go. And just let it cook for a little bit. Not much. Just a little bit. Okay, I'll make some room here. Get myself that plate. And if you want to, you can add more fresh um, onions on the top or inside of it. Totally up to you. I always add onion. Okay, you just gotta take it off the heat for a little bit because it'll start popping. Ew. Okay, I'll move this out of the way. I'm just wanting to get it out of the heat real quick. Okay, so I'm going to show you right there. Let me see if I can zoom in. Hi, Elizabeth. I know you don't like the onions. Okay. And like I said, real simple enchiladas. Forget my cheese, the most important part of an enchilada. You can put as much or as little cheese as you want. Careful because it's super hot, guys, so you don't want to burn yourself. Okay, we got one there. Let's get the other one going. Now, don't overstuff it with a cheese inside unless that's what you like because you're going to put some more cheese on the outside. Okay. So you can put the cheese after or before. Either way, it doesn't matter because you're going to melt it in the microwave so it'll melt. But being that it's so hot, I probably won't even need to put it in the microwave. It'll probably start melting. And normally when you eat my enchiladas, bring your appetite because my enchiladas are big and hearty. Okay, here. Make sure you always cover the edges because they tend to get real hard for whatever reason. Like I said, you don't have to put all this cheese. That's just me wanting it. What I do sometimes, I'll get my uh, lid like this, and the heat from itself will melt that cheese. Okay, give me a second. Let me get some fideo because I gotta have fideo. Um, let's see here. Trying to get something small here. My cross here in front of y'all. I love the juice. It's the favorite part for me on the fideo. This fideo looks so good. And I love black pepper on my fideo, so I'm going to top my fideo. Look dirty. 
all messy. Oh, I missed a spot there. And let me get. Okay, got that cleaned up. Let me get y'all closer over here. Let me take you off of this stand real quick. Look at that, guys. Yummy. Oh, my phone is burning up. Okay, give that a mix. Look at that, it looks good. Now for me, this is hot enough, the enchiladas. I don't need to warm them up in the microwave. Okay, let me flip y'all around. Ah, that pepper, sorry. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. I know, amiga. I miss getting together with you, too. Mmm. I prefer just the fideo. Okay, guys. Ah, the powder, the, what is it? Ah, it's these again. Ah, sorry. The, um... Pepper. I was trying to think of the name. I couldn't think of it. It's making me sneeze. Okay. I still haven't gotten my drink. I've been wanting my drink. What are y'all making for dinner, guys, or for lunch? Okay. Here we go. Finally getting my drink. I was just adding sugar to it. Nice cold. Freshly made, too. Mmm. Okay, guys. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to sit down. I said I wasn't going to eat, but I'm going to eat. That tastes really good. Look at that. I'll leave y'all with that. I'm going to go and enjoy this bowl. Enjoy this bowl of fideo. Love you guys. Y'all have a good one. Don't forget to post y'all's food videos or pictures or just stop and say hello love you guys you have a good one bye